There are a lot of questions about the Mega Pack, the Mega Pactory going up in Lathrop, ramping as it is, and uh, for that matter, the new one that may be coming along in Shanghai any time now, certainly this year, we hope. So I have brought on uh, Bradford Ferguson from Rebellionaire, who is, as far as I can tell, the definitive resource on all things Mega Pack, uh, except for those who are bound by NDA. Uh, so uh, we'll talk about that. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Bradford, how are you, my friend? Doing good. So uh, for those who don't know, Bradford has been uh, a cornerstone of the Tesla community for years now, um, offering a variety of support to a variety of creators. Um, I am a member of Rebellioner, full disclosure, uh, but that does not, uh, I've not accepted any sponsorship or anything okay. like that. This is just a topic I wish to cover. So this is going to be part one. We're going to do two parts. We're going to keep them both nice and tight. The first one, we're just going to talk, where are we at with Mega Packs? I know you've gone out to Lathrop a time or two. Tell us where we're at. So I, I got a little help. Someone looked in January and it's still kind of been stuck where it is, like uh, 10 to 12 a day, um, which is about like 40 or so percent capacity. We think it can do about 25 per day if the capacity is 40 gigawatt hours um, per year out of Lathrop. So the nameplate capacity, we're running at about less than half of, of what we're expecting them to get to. Right. Yep. Okay. And that's estimates based on looking at the outbound lot. Uh, looking at what comes out of the factory. So you have a method where you, you look at what's in the outbound lot and you look at that at start time and then you see like how many mega packs they take away from the site over uh, a period of time. It could be like uh, generally we'd like to do like seven days at a time. And um, then you compare the photos at the beginning and the end and just um, adjust versus how many mega packs were taken out. Now, now you've been watching the news and you've seen uh, all kinds of announcements, but I don't think we're seeing all the announcements necessarily. Uh, can you share with us some of the announcements that we that we may have seen? That we may have seen or not seen? <laughs> well, both, both. Okay. Um, so Tesla says they're making a mega factory in Shanghai. It, uh, that it, we think it's going to have at least 40 gigawatt hours of capacity. Uh, why, you know, why not 80? Um, Drew, um, Drew Baglino on the latest quarterly call said that Tesla was essentially taking Lathrop from 20 gigawatt hours of capacity to 40. And uh, now Tesla came out two Octobers ago and said that the capacity of Lathrop was 40 gigawatt hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, not sure totally what's going on with that. Um, and then we heard the story where Tesla is getting equipment from CATL to make uh, LFP batteries in Nevada. Whether they're going to be making mega packs in Nevada, we don't know, but it sounds like they're going to be making some LFP batteries and not sure what they're going to use those for, whether it's mega pack or not. Um, then I have some, some, uh, news to catch people up on some they may have heard before um one of the more strange pieces of news was that tesla at a industry conference there was a a lawyer that's involved in the financing of these uh, clean energy projects so you know getting big solar farms put in you know when might or might not be added to it and then you have the mega packs on site and uh, Tesla is circulating a legal opinion that 95% of the mega pack uh, qualifies as domestic content, um, which really surprised us when we heard it because um, you think that a lot of LFP batteries are going in there and those are coming from China. Um, so how does that work? Is, is Tesla using their own batteries and mega in mega pack are they using batteries made you know in nevada or whatever or um, are they including stuff besides the batteries 
Um, so it made us question, okay, where, um, what's going on with 4680? Like what's happening with the batteries that are coming from China um, that are going into the Teslas and what's going on with 2170s? So it really uh, confused us quite a bit. Um, the other piece of news that I would share is that uh, they seem to have like doubled some kind of capacity at Lathrop. You know, maybe maybe true capacity was 20 gigawatt hours. Um, the year before, Tesla blamed uh, a lack of ramp at Lathrop on a lack of batteries and a lack of power or electronics. You know, it maybe is that, but what I've seen is that inside Lathrop. They're, they created a second door to pull them out of. So they had one door that's on the east side and it's it's on the right side. <laughs> and and then uh, another one on the left. And the, the one that uh, runs on the left has been open the whole time, but they added another one. And they began to like add a ramp system uh, so they could pull them out from that side. But our, our latest visit in January showed that they're not, using that door they're not pulling them out there and in fact they're using that little spot like as a little for for supplies um so we're not quite seeing um a doubling of activity at lathrop unfortunately and we saw in the latest quarterly results that uh, revenues on the energy side um tick down so um kind of waiting to for mega pack to really get going and I was on the, the camp of the more skeptical side when Tesla announced, you know, 40 gigawatt hours of capacity. Um, you know, people thought, well, because it's a, an easy product to make, um, allegedly, <laughs> that, you know, Tesla would just su suddenly start making 40 gigawatt hours out of nowhere. And, and that hasn't quite happened. Um, so the Mega Pack is a giant battery, but it's kind of like, I would compare it to a server closet where um, you're you're dropping in these big batteries. So you're like it's like dropping in the big computers, and you're you're hooking in the plumbing to keep it cool and the electrical to connect everything. So in in a way, it is simple that way, but it, it's a heavy product. Uh, these batteries are super heavy, so like people can't just lift these and put them in there. There's there's machinery that they use for that. Uh, and that's and that's absolutely true. While I would argue that a vehicle is vastly more complex with all the stamped elements, with all the uh, and, and keeping everything as compact as possible, this is all right angles, but they are heavy, heavy pieces. It's not something every component strikes me as the sort of thing that you would need assistance to lift with very few exceptions, maybe the access hatch. And when they're finished. The, the newest version is now significantly heavier than the previous one. Previous one, I think, could be fit on a regular truck with mm -hmm. regular 80,000 pound weight limits. And this new one uh, requires the special uh, extra wheel trailer. These are, what, 83,000 pounds by themselves, something like that. They're, yeah. quite, they're quite heavy. Uh, how do they move them out of the building itself? What do they have? A special device they have these for that? red painted devices they're called uh straddle loaders they're used at ports but these are modified for tesla's use and essentially they can lift them straight up and wheel them over and they can even go other they can go even go over other mega packs that are parked on the ground so you can literally pick one out of the grid pick it up and and move it over for whatever purpose, whether it's to load it onto a truck or or run other testing on it. Yeah, the, wow. um, and they they did triple the number of straddle loaders that they have on site, um, but it seems like they're still using two of them. So they went from two of these red straddle loaders to six, um, but we were watching the activity of them and didn't see that quite pick up yet. Now, uh, in the comments the other day, someone uh, gave me credit. They're like, oh, Brian, mega factory. That's so clever. And I had to correct them. No, no, no. For I have stolen that term. Uh, I am, as far as I can tell, confident the person who coined that was you. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, I heard Elon say mega 
Mega Pactory, or what was it? Mega Pack Factory, and so I was like Mega Pactory. <laughs> right, right. And so I've I've slipped that in a few times, and people seem to appreciate it. But credit where credits due. Uh, I get good analysis from all kinds of places, but if there's one thing I can't tolerate, it's a joke theme. So I will yeah. <laughs> always give credit there. Uh, so Lathrop, I, I, I will share share one other piece of news. Sure. Is it. I think they're working on something like a power pack system where it's one eighth or one quarter the size of a mega pack. So if you're a hospital, I, I'm not sure that getting a mega pack necessarily makes the most sense. Um, you want to have a little more divisibility on, on the battery size you're getting and a, a power pack that's maybe a quarter or an eighth the size of a mega pack that might be compelling for some businesses as well. So we know these are using LFPs. Do we know if they're CATL or who makes the cells themselves? Yeah, it's CATL for now. Yep. Yep. And they are one one of the biggest. Uh, they have a very good reputation. And as far as I know, there are no scale LFP factories in the U.S. yet, though there are several underway. Uh, and any news on what we can expect from Shanghai in terms of timeline? Do you even know where it is yet? Allegedly, they had some ceremony. They may have broken ground. I don't know if they're moving dirt. I, I honestly haven't looked at a drone video in China in a long time. So. Well, I have, and I've seen nothing. Yeah, nothing. I've read all the articles, and I've seen no mention of the actual location. I've studied all the pictures from the ceremony, and it's just a wall with, with you know, with a nondescript wall. It might so not theoretically, have theoretically, been... they may not have to break ground or do a new site. Um, for Mega Factory Lathrop, they essentially took over, I believe, as the J.C. Penney warehouse, um, and it was um, under a million square feet warehouse in Lathrop. So they could just take over a warehouse in China and um, take it away from there. Right. It doesn't require the same kind of greenfield construction to embed the efficiencies needed where you're cranking out a million of something in $50 counts. Um, mm -hmm. And with these being as large as they are, as long as you've got sufficient spans between columns, uh, you may have to do some foundation work to shore it up a bit, but that should handle it. Uh, so guys, next time we're going to be talking about, and Bradford's going to be joining me for this as well, the economics of Megapack, because to me, that's the most exciting part. Uh, and uh, we will address some of the things in, in regards to that. Uh, everybody, uh, you know, leave your comments below. What did we miss? What do we misunderstand? Like, subscribe, do the usual thing. Uh, head over to rebellionaire.com. See what they're up to. Who knows? It might be interesting. For everybody else, uh, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots. Until maybe tomorrow.